Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with part 29 of the Dark Elf Mortal Empires Let's Play with Helebron the Crone. For Total War Warhammer 2 we continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions, it's all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions via the QT that's linked in the description down below. Massive thanks to Asus for sponsoring this series by providing me with an Asus ROG Zephyrus gaming laptop to record, render and upload this entire series on. To find out more about the Zephyrus there's a link to it in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section as well as a link to a screenshot of the graphic settings that I'm using for this series and a benchmark result. Also if you fancy winning one of 25 $25 gift cards for either Amazon, Steam or Blizzard then feel free to check out the latest QT that's linked in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section. This time it's all about the price of gaming and QT want to hear from you guys whether or not you think gaming is good value for money, what your general gaming spending habits are, and what you think about loot boxes and microtransactions and the like. So feel free to check it out, it's linked in the description, pinned to the top of the comment section for a chance to win one of 25 $25 gift cards. Continuing from where we left things off last time, as many of you mentioned, it's down to this guy, Galak Blood Gorge of the Ripper Horn Tribe as to why we're at negative uh, income right now because when he raised Vol's anvil he also took out the anvil of Vol uh, landmark building which gave us a further 10% reduction to unit upkeep for all armies so that's why it's hit us so hard. Yes we also lost a couple of settlements but that is the main cause of it. So we'll hopefully be able to take him out with Killian. I don't think we can quite reach him no. We'll be able to reach him this turn. So let's get Killian to at least take out this rebellion. Although maybe it'd be worth waiting a turn. Um, so that we don't have to instantly come back here. Although Volzanville is part of the same region. So we'd still lock it down. But the rebellion would happen at Hag Hall anyway. Um, nah, let's, let's take it out now. And I think yeah, we can just order resolve that. Nice. Hydra getting plenty of kills, om nom nom. Destiny. Some extra My replenishment God. from enslaving our captured foes. How's the public order? It's minus nine right now. What is your dark purpose? If I go up here and then go into channeling stance, yes, you guys will rebel soon, but we should be able to get back down soon anyway. That'll give us a bit of a garrison too. Yeah, we should be able to move on Vol's Anvil and that army next turn. Level 23. Oh, one more level until we get the Black Dragon. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Quartermaster. Well, oh, actually, that might make us positive income again. Yeah, it does. Nice. Oh, my assassin can go up there. Can he do anything to them? Assault units. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Take that. Income from trade, faction wide. Noise. Weakens them a bit more. Uh, we finish your dead eye and your piercing shots. So, yeah, time to make you rather potent in melee as well, then. Actually, what's that scavenge ability again? Uh, post battle loot. Oh, damn, I should have totally gone through that. But you're on the campaign map for now, so I guess it's fine. Um, yeah, we'll pop him back into her army next turn. In terms of Marathi, as one or two of you did mention in the comment section of the previous video, Lionheart, while it's all well and good, yes, it will be quicker to sail on over to the Gain Vale. You have no idea what's over here. There could be lots of lovely high elf stacks. And you know what? Normally I'd be like, oh, well, Marathi, she's got a full stack, plus we're being followed up with a black arc. However, it's not like we actually have that higher tier units. We're, you know, going cheap and cheerful so that she can just raid. The strongest units we've got are the Charybdis and Warhydra. And I don't really know 100% how that calculates into the auto resolve for naval battles but I can guarantee that the Cryptus and Hydra definitely won't be used their full potency on sea so while it may be faster to go that way I think it's way more dangerous for our poor little army because we could just get jumped on by some high elf stacks I mean maybe there's none there we don't need to worry about it but I'm not sure I really want to risk it and lose this whole force because then we'll lose our raiding momentum down here so I think it'd be much better actually then if we about face on that plan and instead land back at oh what why can't I have I got to take out this settlement? I've probably actually got to occupy it or something. Just I can't get past it. But I can land there and then move past. I might just have to raise this one. Get past it. Because even if I sack it, well, if I sack it, maybe I'll be able to move from there. I guess we'll find out. Let's 
Stopping me. Send her back on in. Get a nice little order resolve. Lovely bit of loot. I mean, that does give us a nice bit of slaves, doesn't it? Let's sack it again. But can we move past it now, or does it still sort of block us? Okay, it looks like I can get past it now. I'd be tempted. Mm. Do I risk a force march? Let's do it. Then we're past it. Which does mean that this black arc won't be able to follow us. Well, it might be able to follow us. I think we just need to clear the path on land first with Marathi. And not get too, uh, too overextended. We've got to, be, we've got to play it cautiously. But yeah, Marathi goes through there. In fact, what I could really do with is an agent to show me the way. Campaign map, map line of sight. Perfect. My dark heart is yours, servant of Hecate. Okay, well, we can bring you on land next Gather turn. Let's also grab this death hag over here. And let's send her via the sea so we can see if there's anything coming that way to harass the Black Ark. Because, again, if we see something coming, we can always disband the Black Ark. I guess, where possible, we might want to start just throwing in more Corsairs. But it still doesn't really help our, our situation. Could go for the Altar of Cain, Witch Elves, and the like. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, upgrade that for some research. Doesn't really hurt, does it? I can get us black dragons, but we can't afford that. So yeah, let's go grab that extra research. Miss Knight, you still want repairing? No, ignore. I think that's all we can do there. Um, Hellebron, yeah, let's bring you on land. I was going to bring you down via the monoliths, but in fact, I think I'm going to head towards Hotex Column because we'll need Hellebron's army to deal with uh, Vashnar's conquest, which is that oh-so-delightful uh, chaos and dark elf um, roaming army. So let's go over there with her. We'll throw in a unit at some point. In fact, if we upgrade the Palace of Dread Knights over there, we'll be able to do that, but we need to get to level 5. Let's bring Malekith over here. And then we should be able to sally out with the garrison. Yeah, we can. And order resolve that one. And let's definitely get some more enslavement going. Oh, that loot. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, you are unstoppable at this point, Malakith. You're doing very well. Scepter of Stability. 44% magic resistance. Nice. The Witch King is victorious. Left Destruction. How about you have walls? Ooh, and... Yeah, these guys are ready to go over to Malakir. Ooh, no. <laughs> Temple of Cain needs rebuilding first. There first, then we'll head on over. That's, I wasn't sure about walls here, but seeing as those High Elves got up here, let's just throw in the walls for now. Stop them doing any of that again. Uh, Malekith go that way. We've got an agent that could go in here as well, but for now we'll send her this way. We'll try and block some foes. Assassin. You can get your Assassin's Trophy. And I think I've moved everyone for now. Frozen City, what can you get? Mm, Black Roads, but I think we'll probably go for stuff like the Dread Mance and the Sorceress's Abode. Rond, we've got your... Uh, we can upgrade that to the Dark Covenant of Sorcery for more research rate and all that. Uh, Great Arena. Was I going to wall you up? I, I mean... <sighs> we've got everything else. We could go for Black Roads as well. I mean, if we didn't have this army here, then when the High Elf army came up there before, they possibly could have gone that way and caused a fair bit of trouble before we'd stopped them. That one is pretty easy for them to reach once they land. It's probably better to put walls in there for now. Although, to maximise all of our slaves for this province, Black Roads wouldn't be a bad shout. Where is Ashrak, actually? Oh, Ashrak's way up there. See, over there we're missing a, a trick because we could also increase our money from this province by having at least the first level of slave pens there. We got rid of the walls. But then we run the risk of chaos coming on in. Often that's where they spawn. 
Um, I mean, how much extra is it going to give us? It's another 10% improved income per generation per 100 slaves, 10. That takes it up a little bit. I'll leave it for now. You guys feel free to weigh in on that if you think it's worth it or not to maximize our slave economy. But, but it looks things right wise. Sacrifice due to Kira. We probably will want to pop that soon with Marathi going after their lands again. Yeah, everything is moved. So let's keep an eye on the Ripper Horn tribe and end the turn. I say it's always. Uh, I hold my breath when I hit end turn because I'm like, D have I remembered to move everyone? Is my perfect setup view going to shift over somewhere else? Let's see if they move anywhere. Kind of hoping they'll just stay there because then Killian can go in for a nice big old smush. Might fight it as well so we can throw in the... Uh, Hydra into action. The regular troops they've got are pretty squishy. Okay, where's Master Mundi gonna go? Oh, there we go. We can see him moving over over that way. But it looks like he's halved his army. Oh, he's, he's probably done that. The AI's probably done that thing where it um, just merges all the troops after it colonizes. It's very silly. They've run up that way and they've gone into Hidden Encampment. So they're trying to ambush, I assume. We could try and throw Malekith in there to spring the trap because we've got extra troops coming his way eventually. Because we've got to remember, actually, because, yeah, they're trying to lure us in. If we send Killian into Claim Vol's Anvil now, it should be much weakened. Who seeks my malice? It was around here, wasn't it? I don't remember hidden encampment. Is that ambush or is that their underway thing? I might just see if I can set an ambush over here. And then we'll reclaim it next turn. Does mean another rebellion's going to pop up over here. But there's not a huge amount I can do. Um... I won't bother upgrading you just yet because we might end up... Losing. Well, you've got walls now, haven't you, actually? Put your walls straight in there. Go on, then. I'll upgrade you. So what if we sit there see? with her... Pop the assassin back on in. Unrestrained. Farewell. I know the way. And see where they go. Right, Mundi's over here. Oh, and that army's over there. Um, Kartet, would you mind just swinging some of your guys around? If they're going to go all the way back over here, then yeah, we definitely want to, at the Great Arena, pop in those walls. All defences. Oh, damn. Wait, no, I can't build all that stuff because we need to reclaim that. Realised. Okay. Uh, dreaded slaver, I guess. The next turn, we'll start bringing you over towards Malekith to give him his extra units. How far can Mundi move? Yeah, he's definitely merged his troops. Probably safe to move because even if he attacks me while I'm slowed, he's not going to be able to kill me. And I can jump in here. They can't reach me. Mundi can. But yeah, he's pretty broken right now. And even tired will we'll wreck some faces. Right, so Marathi. Oh, you're seriously? You can't move. I didn't move you far enough. That ruddy settlement is the bane of my existence. A brief pause. Is it time? Okay, well, I've got I've no other option slot. but to raise it. Or it's either that or occupy it. Occupying would give me better replenishment. Claim this 
screw it. I will claim it. Tome of Furion. Bombardment. Major magical damage. Medium strike area. Strong versus single baton. Strong versus single unit. Nice. Do that, then we replenish like crazy, and then we can move her properly next turn. Finally, uh, gave her a mount last time. Infamous Raider. More post-battle captives would also be nice. Oh no, grotesque sacrifices. Magic item drop chance. I mean, it's not super important that we grab that. But magic item drop chance plus 10% all characters and the corruption thing. We might as well go through that full line. Right, so she's going to replenish up nicely. Where's me hag? You come this way. Mind swinging that round just to go grab that, but uh, might be a bit uh, a bit bold. There, we can throw that in. A commandment can be issued. Oh yes, of course. Um, public order. Public order. Public order. Minus three at the moment. Okay, let's put it on demand. Highborn hostages. Miss Nart, no. Imminent rebellion. Yep. Dark -hearted. Venom Glade. What can we pop in here? Oh, you can have a hunting camp. Okay, we'll do that soon. I think that's everything. Oh, and what's our right that we can pop? Oh, sacrifice to authority. Public order everywhere and loyalty gain. Yeah, let's do that. Might as well for the cost of 100 slaves. So in which case, we can set this to tax rate. See if we can spring the uh, Malekith bait on the Ripper Horn tribe. Tried to secure influence and failed at Miss Nar. <laughs> Cold blood is oh, hello, Mundi. Most pleasing to the Lord of Murder. You want peace because I'm going to wipe you out shortly. Uh, yeah, no peace because you've got territory that I want. So, as I said, I will peace out with you quite happily. But once I've claimed what I want, including Quintex. So until then, hell no. That army of Tyrians has disappeared from Tor Karuli. Ambush was foiled, but ambush are discovered. Cool. That's good. We can jump on his face. Yeah, Tyrion's army might be coming. <laughs> so we might need to run. That black arc. I'm, I'm going to have to be very careful with that black arc, I think. Oh, what happened to your army? Is that the same one? What's this? Heaven sense rift. Oh, cool. Nice. Did the tomb kings go and bop them? Oh, chapter objective. Oh, totally didn't realise that we had all that going on. Nice. Burn it. Burn it all. I'm assuming that's our final chapter objective. Yeah, so it's now just on to victory objectives. Um, oh, and you guys were saying that the oddly specific amount of income was because it always asks for 1.5k more gold than you currently have. Um, in terms of recruiting units, it always asks for plus three more than you currently have. I knew that I knew there was some weird thing to do with that. So where's he gone? Did he get? He must have been wiped out by someone because I can't click on him anymore. I would say then it's safe for Killian to go and claim Ball's Anvil. Malekith, scream at them and, and kill them, please. Oh, 
Ghost. Wipe him out. That's the faction destroyed, so we know they're not anywhere else. Whip of Agony. Right, and then let's bring him back up to Venom Glade. Where the hell did Mundi go? Seems we lost a cavalry unit. Let's go for a cold one night. And then we'll go after Vashnar's conquest with Helebron. Oh, I don't like that we lost Mundi. He's he's gone somewhere. Oh, we just stopped that rebellion as well. Noise. Malekith, Malekith, Malekith. Reach equals grasp. Income post battle loot. Noise. Um, oh, we've got a chance to put you on your cold one chariot. Don't think we'll bother. We'll do that when you're hit level or rank 17. Then we'll go straight onto your black dragon. Noise, noise, noise. Oh, my death hag. You're not the same death hag. As you say, oh, hello. Found an army, though. And there's another one over there. Once we clear them out, then we can get that black arc round. Oh, the Death Hag is this way. Can we block you? Oh, god damn it. Well, at least we've got the Death Hag there. So, ooh, you've got lots of nasties. Phoenix Queen. Certainly not. So, let's set up a nice ambush. Ideally. I have to use that Hydra to the max to try and break these guys because they've they've got a very high titter. I mean, if this fails, then I don't think we'll we won't try and repeat it again. Going up for all point it is quite quite a keen strategy. It'd probably be better just to focus on Bretonia again. But to be honest, it might help just having Marathi up here to help deal with things again. We'll see how things go. Um, keep the Black Arc where it currently is. Got a few more options if we need it, although yeah, I don't know where Tyrion is. I approve of these Probably should play it safe and go a course. here so that he probably can't just come straight off and hit me. Yes. He'll give replenishment and bombardment support, so that's fine. Temple of Cain, upgrade you. That army. Run, 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 run. Time to meet up with Malekith. Miss not, no. Problem is increasing once we get Vol's Anvil back up and running, then we can pop in. Oh, it's not the Anvil of All, it's the Temple of All. That gives us that upkeep reduction that will help rather tastily. Go have your Hunter's Camp. Other than that, you guys are sailing around this way. Great Arena, I probably do need to put in those walls. Uh, might have to turn around with Malekith and send Malekith north. I think I'm going to have to send Malekith that way. Never. Ah, did we get an ambush? We did. But damn, that is a nasty army they're sending towards us with all the Swordmasters. We failed to spot your ambush. Uh, attack now. The element of surprise. Yeah, I mean, that's good. We'll have to hit them with bomb bomb, but they, those Swordmasters are going to cut through me like butter. No, oh, what fun. I think, yeah, if we lose Marathi's army here, then we 
call it a day on trying to keep sending her back this way. Pull probably for the safety of the Black Ark, disband it and re-recruit it back up in Nagarond with a fresh army for Marathi. Once we disband the other Lord, we'll be able to afford a really decent army with her, and then send resume our raiding and burning of Ulth One, but from the north next time with both Marathi and Malekith. Spears in from over here. I mean, maybe, maybe we might be able to pull this off. I have my doubts, though. Let's get everyone ready for the group attacks. Going to the Dragon Princes. I jerk, get to the flanks, I need you to burn them. Oh, these guys are getting absolutely wrecked. Destroy. I, I forget she's a flyer. Alright, Hydra, I need you down here. Burn them, Hydra. Oh, yes, right across that line. Yeah, we just don't have enough power to break these sword masters. What's our best option against that? Having Hageneth executioners to go on in? You know, what within our roster will work best against these guys. It's just because we've got a Corsair stack against elite high tier high elves, so it's kind of it's always sort of going to go that way. I mean, we're definitely doing some damage. Our troops are just not a match. Spears getting against the in against those dragon princes. My revenge comes. Vengeance awaits. Take flight. Uh, 
Uh, are they going to get away? Holding longer than I thought, but I think it's because we've got the Hydra and the Charybdis. Oh. Oh dear. She's getting zapped by the Sisters of Avalon. Ah, ha, ha, take off quickly. Oh dear. She is very nearly dead. Uh, the cavalry's broken us. Uh, Hydra's not. Feeling so hot, and also the crib disc now. That's the that's the break. And I totally forgot I had a bolt thrower to deploy this whole battle. <laughs> Not that that would have made much difference, I don't think. They lost 737, but yeah, without having our own higher tier troops to try and counter them. Didn't really stand much chance. But yeah, seeing as they're fielding so many swordmasters of Hoeth, let me let me know, guys, what you think the best counter is. I guess probably, actually it's probably Cold One Cavalry and Dread Knights to just smush through them. They're pretty good at deflecting most of our ammo as well. They stole my forbidden rod. Not worth it. I can pull back. They're surely going to chase me. They're really going to chase me again. I might be able to retreat and escape. No, I can't. Damn. Rip. <laughs> That's me army gone then. She's wounded. At least that will give us quite a potent boost to income, which we'll probably need to use straight away to build yet another army at Nagrond, which will make Marathi's new one. So feel free to suggest a army composition that we'll build up specifically for Marathi to have. We'll link her back up with Malekith, and then we'll send both her and Malekith sacking and looting through Orthwan, but with high tier stacks together next time. And I think just because it's now isolated on its own, our best option is to disband the Black Ark and then re-recruit it at Nagrond once this high elf fleet has uh, buggered off. Oh, damn. Bolt cartridges. Uh, we've got one more turn to wait with Hellebron, then we'll strike Vashnar's Conquest. Oh, God, that is a nasty army. In that fact, do we really want to strike Vashnar's Conquest with what we currently have? Why don't you change that spear unit over to a uh, black guard, don't we? And we need to swap these guys over for no. dark shards. In fact, Dreadlord that's where these can go. They can go over to Hellebron. Um, Lord of the black Tower. Yeah. Of Got the sister of singing doom and whiplash in there. Guess we'll keep those. Probably get rid of one of those bolt throwers now. And go for... Could go for a Charybdis. So we've got that versatility. Or could go for another Executioner. So we've got more attack. Or maybe even Witch Elves. Uh, but seeing as those guys are coming up over here, we're not going to be able to get an army in place. We'll move Malekith up there. But we'll do that at the start of the next episode. So that the save kicks in here. <sighs> Plenty of money again. But uh, alas, no more Marathi. It was uh, folly to try and go after them. Probably should have turned over to Bretonia. Would have got a few more settlements, I think. Looks like Chaos is finally going after them, though, which is good. Uh, next time, as I said, we, when we have Marathi and Malekith, we'll strike the Shrine of Cain, Tor and Lek, and then power on through the Phoenix Gate and go straight for the Gainvale Jugular, and then we'll go through... Um, well, the thing is, when, when we go through that way, we'll actually want to occupy all these because they're suitable climates for us. We won't actually get much sacking. I guess if we do that first, then hit Bretonia for a sacking spree, or maybe we sack Bretonia first, then launch back in this way. 
Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, until the next one, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.